Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this can be written as a to the power of m times n. And the same thing can also be vice versa. If we have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this can be written as a to the power of m to the power of n. So right here we have 9. And 9, this is equal to 3 squared, right? 9 is equal to 3 squared. So I'm going to first replace all our 9's here with 3 squared. So we have 3 squared to the power of 10 plus, again, 3 squared to the power of 10 plus 3 squared to the power of 10. And now, as you can see, our, all three of our terms are in the form a to the power of m to the power of n. And remember, that is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this would equal 3 to the power of 2 times 10. And the same goes for the other two. Now, 2 times 10 is 20. So we have 3 to the power of 2, or sorry, 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20 plus 3 to the power of 20. And now if we factor out 3 to the power of 20 from this, we get 3 to the power of 20 times 3 to the power of 20 divided by 3 to the power of 20 is 1. And same goes for the other two. So now we have 3 to the power of 20 times 1 plus 1 plus 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So now we have 3 to the power of 20 times 3. And let's say we have a to the power of m times a to the power of n. This is going to be a to the power of m plus n. So 3 to the power of 20 times 3. Well, 3 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 1. So this would be 3 to the power of 20 plus 1, which is 3 to the power of 21. So this is our answer. Thank you.